up, Voyagers? We are on our way to Toronto. Toronto. We are going there to uh, do a nice big food tour of the city. We're gonna stop at uh, about seven different places. Uh, we're gonna try and order one item that we can agree on at each one of those places. Uh, it'll be tough to not just order buffalo wings everywhere we go. Hogtown Vegan, we're gonna start there with brunch. We have chicken and waffles, so that's probably gonna be, hopefully, our <laughs> agreed upon meal. We're also going to check out Doomies, because we gotta get a Big Mac. Yam Chops, we have a, an interview with the owners there. Uh, it's a vegan butcher shop, which ought to be totally cool, because we've never been to one of those. We're going to Grasshopper. Grasshopper. Poutini's House of Poutine. Poutine. For some vegan poutine, which is a must in Canada. Yeah. So we got some good things. We made it to Canada. Woo! Oh, Canada. Hogtown Vegan, and we got the chicken and waffles, which were pretty good. Not yeah. as good as Vegas. Not as good as Vegas, but they're, uh, they were sweeter, uh, the syrup was, and had cinnamon mixed in with the syrup, which gave it a nice flavor. The mac and cheese was delicious. It I, was Daya cheese. Yeah, I can say that it was probably some of the better mac and cheese we've had on the trip so yeah. far. Really creamy, good Again. flavor. It had the heat in it somewhere. They wouldn't tell us what the special sauce is that they put on it. It was delicious though. It was good. So far so good. First stop down, moving on.
So we just got done eating at Yam Chops, where we got to meet Tony, one of the partners that owns the, the vegan butcher shop. And let me tell you, everything we ate there was just phenomenal. So delicious. We were able to do an interview with Tony, which you'll see in a different video on its own. So make sure you check out the Yam Chops interview. We asked her what she recommended, and she said the best uh, best seller that was the Szechuan beef bowl, and so good. She was right, yeah. for sure. Absolutely, we ended up walking out of there with uh, with a medium sized container to bring home with us. It was it was phenomenal. Yeah, they have a deli counter, so you can order meats to go. They also sell their own sauces, so we picked up a bottle of Szechuan sauce. So I think we're going to be eating Szechuan for a little while, but it was so good. Everything was delicious. They also have a basically a, a meat selection where they sell things like burgers, uh, coconut bacon. They had seitan ribs, which uh, they, had, they look delicious, and I bet they grill phenomenal. So if you're ever in Toronto, definitely check out Yam Chops. They're the very first vegan butcher shop in North America, and um, super sweet owners. And we were so lucky to get a chance to stop in. Stop number four. Grasshopper. Grasshopper. We uh, had the quinoa mac and cheese, which the cheese sauce was incredibly creamy. Really good. Um, Noodles were in cooked properly. Yeah, that's, it was unfortunate. We're too full, so we're gonna go find maybe a beer or something to settle for a minute. Yeah, I think it's time for some liquid lunch. Yeah. Exactly what you want a cinnamon roll to taste like. That's really good. So we're walking down the street. I think it's like Kensington neighborhood. It's really popping. There's a bunch of people out. There's bars everywhere. So we thought naturally we should walk down this street. And we came across a vegan and gluten-free bakery, Bunner. Yeah, this street totally reminds me of Alberta Street in Portland. It just has this really cool vibe to it. Uh, there's shops everywhere, like she said, there's bars and... Street vendors, yeah, and it's, it's colorful, and it looks like a good time. Yeah. And then we happened upon this bakery, so we stopped in, we got a cinnamon roll. It was delicious. It we're was... too full though, yeah, so it's... we're yeah. starting to struggle. Eat at the border. border. <laughs> uh, highly recommend Toronto if 
such a great community. Yeah, the vegan scene up here is great, and we probably only hit the tip of the iceberg. Yeah.